not mesomeria. What is the difference between ovulation, mesis, and mesial cycle? To me, no question is easy. No question is hard. So I have to answer all questions to clarify my beautiful audience. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today I'm going to be taking that question that says, Nurse Miss Mary, can you throw more light on the differences between ovulation, mesis and measurable cycle or ovulation cycle? So, um, if you are the one that asked this question, I believe this video is for you and I know you are happy watching this video so you can drop it in the comment section. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying what? This is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be answering that question in a very very short video the difference between mesis ovulation and the menstrual cycle or ovulation cycle so the first one is what is ovulation what is what what is ovulation ovulation is simply that stage that particular point in a woman's life where she releases an egg so as a lady that is felt out every month you are expected to release an egg for fertilization so that time in the month where you release an egg is known as ovulation the time or the particular date or the particular period every month where you release an egg it is known as what it is known as ovulation so ovulation usually takes place between 12 to 14 days before your meses. So as a lady, you, that is ovulation. So if you've not watched our video on the various signs of ovulation, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so you have access to the video and know the various signs and symptoms of ovulation. Just know ovulation is a period where a lady releases an egg. So as a lady, you release an egg every month. Once you get to puberty, you start seeing your meses. Then the second one is, what is meses? What is menstruation? It's a simple term. For the ladies, we experience meses, we experience menstruation, which is the release of that blood. You see that three to seven days that you bleed, that blood comes out from your vagina, you have to use pad. That is what we call meses. That is what we are talking about, menstruation. The woman is menstruating. There's release of meses. There's release of blood from the vagina and you are using what? Pad. That is what? That is meses. So, ovulation is the place, time, where you release an egg, waiting for a sperm to come, for a baby to be formed. That's ovulation. You release an egg, you are waiting as a woman. That's how the body is being designed. For a sperm to come, to fertilize that egg and give birth to a baby. Well, you know, it's not a woman, every lady that's ready to give birth to a baby. So when the, um, there is no uh, fertilization after ovulation, you now have your meses, which is the bleeding you have, the blood coming out from your vagina every month. So that is meses. Then for those asking, the menstrual cycle, ovulation cycle, a menstrual cycle and ovulation cycle, they are very similar. So I'm just going to use a general term for them. They are really like, a, should I say, a calendar in a woman's life. The same way you have January 30 days, that's September, April, June, and November, or the rest are 31st, then September, February, each leap year. The same way you have January as 31 days, that's January cycle. That's every month you have 30, 31 days or something. That is the same way a lady has her own calendar, her own cycle. This calendar talks about what happens in the month in a lady's uh, life. Inside this uh, measure cycle or ovulation cycle, you have your meses and you have your ovulation dates. You have your meses and you have your ovulation dates ovulation inside the cycle so when you hear measure cycle when you hear ovulation cycle it's simply the time between your meses and your ovulation we can use like that the time between your meses when your meses starts your ovulation and your next meses 
That's your cycle. That duration, that's the period between your meses, your ovulation, and your next meses. That gives you your menstrual cycle, your ovulation cycle as a lady. I don't know if you get a clearer picture of what it is now. So if you know your question has been answered, please, I will appreciate you drop in the comment section. Not send me a direct message, please. So that is the difference between your meses, your ovulation, and your what? Your menstrual cycle. So I hope this video helped you understand. If you are not still clear, you let me know. That is why I am here. I make videos based on your questions. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Mercy Mary saying what? This is Nurse Mercy Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video tomorrow.